Hey, welcome back, guys. Mm -hmm. So, so far we have our categories list here doing just fine. Uh, the only thing we need is to be able to actually read on the other side. Okay. So, let me uh, go to my local host here for a second. My database, because I want to see what categories these items live in. If I click here, we actually do not show. Um, we actually don't show the categories here. So we're going to improve the look of this. And I've just seen this here, which is not working well. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the database here, if I go to my products, and let me see what category each one of them has. Mm -hmm. So, so far the products I have are all in category one. And let's see what category that is. So if I go to my categories here, it's food, that's what it is. So we have to make sure that I click food. Okay, that way we have food in the browser there. And so that we can see if we get any of this. now. This is not very healthy because I can't tell when I get all the, because all of them are in the same category, right? Uh, maybe I can tell by clicking another category that doesn't exist, I guess, and food. Okay, so we can test that way, no need to edit anything. So let's go back to our text editor here. Let's go to our controllers, shall we? To the shop controller. And inside the categories section here, uh, one problem we have is this. If I go to my models and the products model, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, the category class, there's a way to get all categories and there's a way to get one category. The only problem is we're using an ID to get this one. So let's change one of these. Let's create a new function. Let me duplicate that. So this is the category class, right? So let's say get one by, by name. Yes, get one by name. And let's change the ID to name, like so. Okay. So here, instead of where name, it's going to be where category, where category is equal to whatever is shown there. Now, if in case we don't want it to be case sensitive, I think that's what I think though. We can use the word like, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, there are times if you want it to work like a search, you can put the uh, the wildcats here, like so, then it's going to match all categories that are similar. But in our case, we are not going to do that. So here we want, we don't want to save this as int. We want this to be, um, let's just use add slashes here. Like so. Alrighty then. So... Uh -huh. Get one by name, category, category. Okay, so things be looking good here. All right, so let's go back to our thingy here. So the problem we have with reading our categories is, so category is equal to, mm -hmm. so, the query that we have for our products is this one but we don't want this what we want is select all from products where category is equal to and we need a specific category in there so we're going to call that category um where is rows anyway db read let's use a prepared statement here I think we probably should do the same on the other side. 
we have con category like name i'm going to do that i think it's much better to do it this way that way i will put a comma there and then put an array the array will have name like so is equal to name like so all right great let's come back here again hopefully you saw that it's on the edge okay there we go so here we're going to say where category is equal to category yeah just one one category like that uh -huh. so the only thing is now we have to supply the category that we need okay so we do need the categories class here so i'm just going to duplicate the user class and get the category class that way so category 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 oh so we are using it here as well so no need to declare it uh down here anymore let's just do that and then at this point, what I want to do is get the category that we actually have. So what I will do here is I'm just going to say category is equal to, oh, it's already equal to an empty string. So no need. So yeah, so what I'll do here, I'll say, um, hmm, I think here, let's change this to cut id something like that because otherwise we don't want to get this variable here we want to use this variable because this variable is a word we want to use it to get an id and then put the id there and the reason we are getting the id here is because when we save our products here we are not saving uh the categories with their names we are saving with their ids so that's why we have to get the id that's the only way it's going to work so i'll say cut Let's just do uh, check something like that is equal to db read. No, not db read. It's equal to category get one by name, like so. And then we'll add the category as the name. Okay, so let's make sure it's uh, get one by name get one by name okay great and then from here what we will do now is uh, check and see if check actually contains something useful so first of all i'll say cut id will be equal to let's just equal it to a null so that it doesn't find a if it doesn't find a result then nothing will happen so if is object check so if check is an object i'm checking for object not array because it returns just a single uh object a single item then cut id is going to be equal to check id like so mm -hmm. so let's see that in action and refresh Ooh, some errors exciting times so let's see what the errors are all about so it's saying uncaught type error add slushes argument one string must be of type string so what was given instead category given in oh i see so let me come back to the class here and where is add slashes? Add slashes name. Wait a minute. Hmm. This is intriguing. Let me come back here. Get one by name. Oh. You see, this is where the problem is. I have two things that are called category. There is the object and this one right here. Hmm. Okay, so... I have to rename this one to something else. Uh, I'm just going to say cut find or something like that, right? Because that's the category we want to find. So cut find. That should uh, take the error away. 
Oh, but no. Syntax error, access violation. You have an error in your SQL syntax, change to be manual. Hmm. For the syntax to use near cut ID. I see. So it means it's right here. Okay, so the reason is because I didn't put an array there. My bad. If you put these full columns, you have to put an array there. So my array is going to be like cut uh, ID. And then let's put our arrow there, cut underscore ID. So let's see if that will satisfy its thirst for errors. Okay, so that worked out. Mm -hmm. So let's try a different category and see if we get a similar result. So let's try meat. Ooh, we get nothing. Cars, bags, meat, sodas, drinks, food. Finally, we get something. So it's actually working, yeah? Because it's showing me what's in the food category and not what is in the other categories right here. Mm -hmm. So things are working fine. So now the thing is, if I click on clothes here, because clothes is actually a category as well, even though it's a parent category to shirts and hats, but I also want clothes to have somewhere where we can click, where we can go for all the clothes, right? So if I say clothes, maybe I can put all here, and then we can have shirts, hats, blah, 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 and so on. So let's see how we can fix that here let's go to our views eShop and then we're going to go to what page is this anyway wait a minute that is oh this is actually the sidebar so let's go to a sidebar dot include yes mm -hmm. and we are here so there's this part where we ask the question <coughs> excuse me here where we put these guys here the little ones mm -hmm. so also these little ones do not have a link that is proper so i have to put a proper link there so let me see what link i did put here and that link is the drum row this is a link right here so let me copy that up to root root copy and let me come down here <clears throat> And put that let me put my opening tags with an equal sign and then do that category category so this is a subcat right so we have to use subcat here subcat paste oh don't forget your dollar sign you need those dollars yeah come back here refresh and let's see what we have here do we have a link okay very good things are working out we have hats now and we have shirts but we don't have all for the clothes so what we need to do is get one of these copy like so and then put it for as long as uh, there's uh, yeah for as long as this is true here on the list items we are supposed to have just one at the top that says all. All, like so. So let's come and see what's going on. And then since we don't have subcat here, subcat is only created there, we're going to use cat right there. Because we're dealing with the parent directory here, which is, where's the loop for the parent this is the one cat right there. Mm -hmm. So let's see that. Cat category. Okay. That's looking mighty good. So let's refresh and let me click on clothes. And now there's all. So if I click on all, it goes to clothes. Just as predicted. All goes to shirt. All goes to hats. Or cars. Or sodas. Okay, so things seem to be working out well. That is nice. Now, what we want to look at in the next video is cleaning up this part. Uh, 
we'll remove some of these let's actually remove some of these right now because add to wish list and add to compare we are not going to be adding any of that that will make the uh, thing too complex but uh, you can attempt it if you have the the gumption i think that's the right word so product dot include down here there's this div called choose get rid of that bye bye see you refresh and there we go so add to cart is okay mm -hmm. we're getting closer and then what else do we need here okay i think we're looking good here so what we need now is to be able to i want us to be able to add items to this section as well and then that section and then once we are done there we can go to the uh, this part right here what do they call this the slider yeah all right so i will see you in the next video